Okay. Uh, okay, I'm guessing when they kind of bop towards each other, it means it pertains to them. The childhood BFF, the Sundare, the shy one, or the class star. Oh, okay, uh... Poof, what? Uh, okay. Uh... W why are these... I probably should be reading these choices, I'm sorry. Warm, dark, age, family. Kawaii, anime, summer, explode, holiday, jump. <laughs> what, what kind of word bank is this? Okay. Um. I'm trying to go for... Oh, uh, okay. They'll jump each time you choose one of their favorite words, by the way. Okay, I, th I figured something like that, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, but, oh god, climax, <laughs> uh, playground, suicide, incongruent, sing, fluffy, happiness, fantasy, whirlwind, vivid. Oscar Possum, are you weirded out yet? Feet, swimsuit, electricity, hair, depression, vertigo, uncanny, clouds, promise, melancholy. Misfortune, whisper, nibble, aura, anxiety. <laughs> there are some very odd choices for this poem. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> Bliss, whistle, melody, comfort, parfait, anxiety, nibble, aura, whisper, misfortune. I'm trying to pick Yuri, in case you guys couldn't tell. And no, it's not because of her. I just, I just, I, I just feel her vibe, man. Seriously, she just happens to have some boobs on her, okay? Don't judge me. All right. <laughs> Sparkle, Papa, Skirt, Daydream, Breathe, Insight, Socks, Excitement, <laughs> Joy, Sunset, uh... Silly, jump. Uh, Papa? Isn't this the MC's assignment? Imagine you receive a poem and it's just a bunch of random words. Yeah, pretty much. Huh, <sighs> silly, jumpy, nightgown, and Trump. Sunny, fireworks, friends, intellectual, intellectual, Evanset, art. I need to get this track list off Spotify, man. I kind of like fireworks. But my wife who doesn't. A nightgown. City. Misery. <laughs> Nature, dazzle, determination, lollipop, incapable, disoriented, fireflies, pink, shame. I'm just kind of... Uh... Flower, scars, charm, analysis, tragedy, embrace, funny, cheeks, <laughs> milk, massacre, oh jeez, okay. This is gonna be such a weird poem when I'm done. Cheeks? Pleasure, oh god. Pleasure, rain clouds, spinning, pure, awesome, passion, invaluable, R. Forgive, after image. 
gosh, you really got happy when I picked that one. Twirl, hurt, despise, Valentine. <laughs> Valentine, philosophy, hop, giggle, infinite, essence, captive. Uh. See, what about twirl? Oh. Hope, raindrops, waterfall, shopping, death, marriage, sadness, cute, love, lust. Oh, jeez. Flea, landscape, peaceful, special, bubble, sensation, contamination, existence, mouse, together. Play, loud, color, judgment, sugar, uh, whatever that word is. Fulgent, ribbon, cheer, lucky, rainbow. Sweet marshmallow, smile, fester, calm, disarray, covet, precious, prayer. Uh. Strawberry, unrestrained, alone, blanket, heartbeat, unrequited, why did I don't remember? Childhood, bed, doki doki, <laughs> flying. I know doki doki's like heartbeat. Like, oh, it makes my heart go doki doki, or whatever, if I'm saying that right. Clumsy, pain, <laughs> tears, fear. <laughs> tears, fears. Puppy, amazing, shiny, extraordinary, fickle journey. Bouncy, romance, inferno, wonderful, dream, meager, secretive, headphones, lipstick, extreme. Uh. Okay, we're almost done with the poem, okay. Vibrant, pout, cry, universe, starscape, disaster, destiny, ocean, party, treasure. My cat just barfed all over my mouse mat. Oh god. Ugh, I'm so sorry. It's so awful when they throw up, man. It's like, oh god. Hi, Candle Quirk. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Lick Quirk. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sierra told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. At last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us, then you won't see the end of it. And Suki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection at the club room. <laughs> Suki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. The quirk always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He must be a busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Jory, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. <laughs> and you almost set your ha house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I'd be a little jealous. Oh god, already. Oh come, 
How come? You and Lepore can become good friends too. Um. Siori. <sighs> As usual, Siori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Wait, Siori. Uh, me? Oh, well, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Siori made it sa sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Sorry, you're, I, I wasn't thinking. Guess I mean it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting you in the first place, so a nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It made me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I'll make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Reads her back and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it'll keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, Discuss it if you wanted. This is. <laughs> How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> I don't know. She even picked up the book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. You'll. Uh, I'll definitely read this. I there's ask you to take the book. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now everyone settled in, I expected Maka to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri and Maka had a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki other an exasperated sigh from the closet. Oh, right, I forgot. She's the annoying, I mean... And a bratty one. She needs to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Looking for something in there? Freaky Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else just gonna mess it up? Tsuki slides a bunch of snack books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You mean manga, right? Uh. Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point, not that I was listening. So it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pulled it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Ah! She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right in the middle of the wrist. Ah! Much better. Is that a fang I'm seeing? Yep. See, seeing a box, seeing a box that with one book is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait girls? Seriously, I never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the glass room door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It's a tone of your voice. I'll tell you one thing, LaQuark. Consider us a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Once again, the game is... <laughs> breaking the fourth wall on me. In fact... Natsuki pulls up a parfait girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. Shoves the book right in my hands. Ah! Ah! I stare at the cover. There's four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. <laughs> feminine poses? <laughs> okay. It's exceedingly moe. I still don't really know what that means. I heard people say that a lot, and I still don't know what it is. Is it. Anyone in the chat know what moe means in Japanese? In that term, don't just stand there. So he grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Oh, jeez. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, seeing me to sit there. Oh, I'm get. Oh my god, I'm getting my girls confused. I'm sorry. I always think it's another kind of cute. Oh, okay. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Take my seat. Oh, this is Natsuki, okay. 
I keep getting her and Siori confused. I don't know how. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Why's that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. <laughs> don't, don't just say that. Make me feel weird about it. She crossed her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect me sitting this close to her either. Now you say it's a particular bad thing. <laughs> Open the book. I opened the book. It's only a few cents for Natsuki once again inches closer. We claim the additional space where she... Well, she hopes I won't notice. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I wonder how you save in this game. No, that's not it. Oh, there we go. It kind of freaked me out that I didn't save yet. Okay. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's like an innocent, childish appeal trait. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I feel her peering over my shoulder much more eager to begin reading than I am. How has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through older volumes every now and then? Oh, every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. Kind of grew out of these since rare for writing to be entertaining enough to make up for lack of plot. <laughs> so... What should I expect from this? Is there gonna be a plot? <laughs> well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of beginnings about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. Hmm, that sounds vaguely familiar. That just helps you get to know the characters. Besides, it's still entertaining. And later on, there are all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all these backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts! Oh, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. So it gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Oh, okay. Hmm. Good save. Ah, uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. Just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? <laughs> well. So he pauses for months if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get to baking around the same time as I got this manga. <laughs> you know, ever get anything besides? It's not a manga. Because it's not a manga. I've never anyone that's that's that impressionable. <laughs> definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. So I'll have you pick from manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh, I guess he did have that cupcake. Wow, okay. We read on for... Why do you look way younger? There. We read on for a few more minutes. Just a couple chapters at that point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! You know you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. You say so. I guess that's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I was getting excited when I convinced any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? You you don't? Uh, <laughs> a little little eye shift. That's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you, could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I can't ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. Can't bring it up without them being all like, Yeah, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. <laughs> Ugh. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I got toward the other loser over time. Be careful, man, because she might be like, I want you call me a loser? Play hard for someone like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. And it's not like that solves any of my problems. <laughs> Maybe. At least you're enjoying yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
so. <laughs> Jesus, are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. Ah! ah! Totally forgot that happens. She puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori's my favorite character. I always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. I guess especially bad when... Uh, shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. Sparkles? Okay. I guess I'll eat after this. <laughs> I did not think about all the reading I'd be doing with this. Okay. Their contrast to her usual bossy tone. Well, you just, this is just the second day, man. You don't... Alright. But she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends. I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. Maybe they'll provide that to Natsu Natsuki for whom it's a rare experience. That made me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone! Eh? Are y'all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on! Could your time be any worse? Sorry! I just need to make sure we have enough time. That you do look pretty cozy over there. Eh? <laughs> eh? Ah! So you say no, that close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. <laughs> Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. Those books had handed toward... Uh, Atsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb, just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say it mostly because I don't really plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course! It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one for tomorrow so we can start the next one. If it gets bent, I'll kill you. <laughs> By tomorrow? I've already through the volume so far. I might fall behind some shows if I try to get through this. I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or, or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? I'd be... I'd be that one. Alright then, I stand up, return to where I put my stuff gear, and slip the book in my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. I have the ends. Can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Yuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Yuri's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Mo Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Atsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching their bags. I do the same myself. Oh boy, okay. I'm gonna show my poem to first. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Yuri, Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine, don't force yourself. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. <laughs> okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. <laughs> no! <laughs> Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Mary buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice, even though I totally did, but okay. What were you saying? Right, um... Now that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and haven't been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most, most thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their story very deliberate. Or style very deliberate, excuse me. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form-fit the two together. The end result is that both styles are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, says his demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. By taking some time, but all kinds of practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else at the club gives you valuable feedback. 
That Suki can be a little biased, though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing herself to me or to Natsuki. Mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dream as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't it supposed to be a literature club? Uh. Under the light, tinges of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm breath- Breathing air of the present, but living in the past. Like flickers, I flicker back. Hope I read that right. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. <laughs> ah, well I just don't read script very often. I couldn't read her handwriting when I first played. Let's just say that my handwriting is really horrible, so I, I gauged what I could from it. <laughs> I actually think your handwriting's pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to, to digest, I suppose. Alright. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of random. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Lagork. Really? Must totally miss the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But I've heard that poets often express their own thoughts and feelings and experiences and their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story and paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. It's soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember, that won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. Counting on you. <sighs> Alright, uh... It's good poem, Lequirk. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. Not that good. <laughs> Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. That's right, impress me. To be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it, seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm happy just that you wrote one. This reminds me how you really are a part of the club now. <laughs> it's literally the second day. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Club room? Uh, well, yeah, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before to learn deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Siori. I guess. <laughs> not sure if Siori says the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. I don't know how much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Something sunshine. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. Okay. Sorry. This was a guess, but... Did, <laughs> did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just, just a little bit. You can't. You can answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Yeah, I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. You know how nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. <laughs> really? Yeah, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast, puff cheeks. You get all cranky. 
I guess there's no point arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hey! This is so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. The next time I won't forget, now I'm gonna write the best poem ever. But I guess I look forward to it. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Oh, God. Okay, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... It's okay, reread my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things, damn it. <laughs> hmm. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. <sighs> I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. Hope you're happy. <laughs> in other words, you're saying you liked it. <laughs> Retort gets caught in her throat. You're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announce to the world that you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. Say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. <laughs> I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, she still needs to show me yours, right? <laughs> Fine, I guess. Why does Michael make me if I don't? Uh, it fun. Monkeys can climb, crickets, crickets can leap. I'm kind of guessing, sorry. Uh, horses can race, owls can seek. Cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. I don't, but okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because! Everyone in high school thinks this writing has to be all sophisticated stuff. But that writing has to. So we don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Look at this poem! Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. Now what I say is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up a right at the end, but then I make it fall flat on purpose. Let's bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did... I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be pro. Oh, hi, hi, Coco. Best po poet award goes to Natsuki. Masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, first time chatter. Hi, hi. Welcome to the stream and happy Valentine's Day. As I said, you guys are my Valentines. I'm your Valentine. And we are playing this cute, kind of weird game, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one he here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if that's where he's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. And I apologize if your chat doesn't show up on my screen like it's supposed to, because I put my head in the wrong place. I guess Monica, because she's the last one. Alright. Hi, the quirk. Had a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever need suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Love this game. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all enjoying it. it either, even the ones who don't know what's coming and the people... I do, and that, uh, you know, we're, we're all happy, so it's fine. <laughs> Alright, I don't think it's gotten too weird yet, but I have a feeling very soon. They're, they're basically reading poems to each other right now, and it's like, oh, okay. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Much better, I'll just go with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Good god, dude, do you not get it? She's literally... Good times here, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? And of course, the classic anime girls doing the bend. It's like, oh, what? Don't worry, Lickwork. 
I'm probably embarrassed today, you know? <laughs> but that's the sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. The quirk's like my handle, so of course I use it. I know I'm supposed to be a guy in this game, but you know, whatever. Hey. <laughs> the quirk's a good name. It's my handle, and plus it's kind of, you know, unassuming. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. <laughs> the emojis. Hmm. I like it, LeQuirk. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Cuter? Do you know what words I used? That's kind of bothersome. I mean, I don't honestly remember. I, I think it's supposed to show you the poem after somehow, but I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, jeez. No, no! It kind of makes me think of something that Suki would write. And she's a good writer, too. <laughs> I, get, I guess you chose most of Natsuki's words. Yeah, I think I did that wrong. I was basing it off of how they, like, leaned and moved. I didn't really think of when they hop until the end, so... So take, take that as a compliment. Uh -huh. You say so. Yep. There are lots of poems or stories out there that are no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad. I, I was trying for Yuri to impress her, but it doesn't show you the poem afterwards, by the way. Oh, ah, damn. Okay. Sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them... I like how he is a little bit about mental health in here. Yeah, definitely. I can explain the mechanics of the poem game if you like. Uh, yeah, sure, you can explain that to me, uh, Jenny. And Coco, I got a little bit about mental health in here, cause, yeah, I'm not really sure either. I, I, I kinda know and I kinda don't know. Um, I can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Atsuki's kinda like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it'd be your kind of poem to explore. Okay, so this changes no matter what. Okay. So each character has their own set of words that they favor more than the others. Okay, yeah. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It'll take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find a kind of style that suits you. It's typically based off their personalities or storyline. Okay. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, alright. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident, so I'm going to not be very good. Oh, that's because I have to sound confident. <laughs> that doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. I'm going to assume that says hole in wall. Couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. What? <laughs> A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peered inside for glue. No! I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out inside. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched from a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Searching forever and everything. Oh, of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I wasn't looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Oh god, did the rest of them have more to it? I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Wow. Uh, so what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. By the way, they just hop around. Doesn't really mean anything, but they'll jump up excitedly if you choose a word pertaining to themselves. Okay, so you kind of have to just pick something. You can't, like, gauge it or anything, is what you're saying. Sorry, I'm not really... Because it didn't seem like I see, saw that till I made a choice. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, uh, it's okay. That kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on time between words and lines. <sighs> I mean, you can kinda. Okay. What's well, been spray behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of 
epiphany recently. I've been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better with friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you write a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific, specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you're in the same spot for too long, you get a big, dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Phew. Guess that's everyone. I gotta spend the room. There's a little more stressful than I anticipated. It says that everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Either it's being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's why I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Siori and Monica are happily chatting. Mai's land and Yuri and the Suki. They, they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read the tandem, I, write, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively turns the phone desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. But you can go- oh, wait, wait, sorry. It depends on which version of the game you have. It's, if it's the newer version, yeah, it's it's plus, yeah. You can look in the files, but you can Google their favorite words so you can get their dialogue. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's kind of the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Oh, God. Hmm. I was looking for a suggestion. I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So you already liked it. And LaCourt did, too. So based on that, I'll gotta give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer. I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change it unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and the quirk like my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Atsuki sa- oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh? I didn't realize you were so best trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> That's not what I- you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that LaCourc appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh, oh, snap, okay. The muse, <laughs> I know. How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No, I was full of myself. <laughs> I would... Oh, wow, okay. I would deliberately go my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> um... Is everyone okay? Uh, you know what? Are we in a circus or something? Good god, this is gonna get heated. I know, right? I wasn't the one who, with, whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as the quirk starts showing up. Actually, I think she's right. I think her, I think that, I think that has happened. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... That, that sounds enough of you! I'm trying to harmonize with him. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Oh god. The cork. She's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. <laughs> she started it. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. I know. <laughs> Shrink it over so Laura appreciate this. It's simple, right? It's more effective. Oh, crap. Hold on. I can't just check. It has, it's the only way I can see it. If she could... Yeah, okay. If she get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective... Okay. 
hour and a half. Man, <laughs> this game's taking a while. <laughs> I thought I'd be farther along than this, but I guess it's because it's a visual novel. Because my stop time is 10.30. <laughs> this is a weeknight. I have work in the morning. <laughs> then this would have happened... I, that's why I usually do my streams on Fridays. Friday nights. Like I said, this is a special occasion. Special game all day. It's a pretty long game. Well, I didn't think I'd finish it today or anything. I just thought I'd be past, you know, day two at least. <laughs> I have an hour and a half left. But I'm so glad y'all are enjoying it. Don't worry. It'll be on my Twitch. Uh, my VOD. If anybody needs to go to bed or whatever. And I have a YouTube channel as well, and I'll put it on there. Probably clip it, you know, where it's a little cleaner, a little cut, but yeah. <sighs> anyway, oh god, girls, calm down. And this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? Hey, you should jump out of the arena, force them to have to figure it out. Let me explain that to her, Cork. Oh my god, don't pull me into this. Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep, expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and mean them most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. Okay, she's definitely expanding her moves, isn't she? She's literally doing this. She's gotta be. No, no, it's not just me seeing that, right? You understand that, right, Luke? It's, it's literally, she looks at me like, what do you think? You know, and it's like, oh, okay. Um... Well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, that, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> so first, that's gonna be... Um... Oh, God. Um... No, Misiori! Natsuki? Natsuki glares at me, dying, drying up any words I had in my mouth, so instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri? <laughs> Your expression is so defenseless, I can't bring us out to say anything to her. Jory! Huh? Yeah! Everyone's fighting, it's making- it, Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How come two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Look, work. Well, that's her problem, it's not about her. I agree. Unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Yuri wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. Oh, my God. oh, Jesus. She would never. <laughs> it's, your it's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? That's exactly why. Tell you why nobody likes. Stop! <laughs> huh? Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And yours are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. <laughs> I, can, I can relate to Zero. I hate when people like fight and stuff. I can't stand it. Like, oh, come on, everybody. So why are we fighting? Because, well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And... Yuri comes in to save the day. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, any guys in the chat, this is totally how us girls talk to each other. Yep. <laughs> and Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> oh. Yuri. Yuri stands triumphantly. Woo! Monica stands behind her with a be bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Suki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. Like that? <laughs> so this is why Siori is vi so this is why Siori's vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good at people. <laughs> I'm gonna bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing to me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. That's why I was like, Siori, help me! Yuri is so silly and unfiltered, bro. Yeah, she she is. <laughs> She's something else. Guess that just means Yuri's amazing in her own ways, isn't she? I could say that. Try being airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her... Okay, that's kind of random. 
I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. That's what's causing my stomach to die. Oh, oh god, she's so hot. Oh. Such a genuine person. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. <laughs> if only I get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How'd you all feel about sharing poems? It's a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. That's all right. Well, mostly. Now, Cork, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about for everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something for your friends, too. So your poems would turn out even better. Uh, think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kind of poems everyone likes. If any luck, that means I do at least a better job impressing those I want to impress. I doubt to myself my newfound determination. Look, work! Ready to walk home? Alright, let's go. <laughs> Nori beams at me. Gee, it's been a while since you and I spent this much time together. It's literally been only two days, bruh. Okay. 